Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. In today's video, it's very highly requested. Every, every video my hair is curled basically. So I understand um, maybe why you guys are interested. It's just the most simple, easy routine and it's not anything difficult. So if you are interested in knowing the products that I use, what tools I use to achieve this look, keep on watching. I've been trying to find the best angle for like 15 minutes. We're filming on the floor of my extra bedroom and I have all my stuff spread out. So I wanted to share with you some products that I use. My hair is a little crazy. I had it pinned, pinned back so I could do my makeup. So I just blow dried it straight to start off. My leave-in conditioner that I use, it's the Bumble and Bumble leave-in conditioner. I really do like this one, but my absolute favorite one is the It's a 10. So I'm almost done with this. I have like a little bit left. I'm going to switch back to the It's a 10. It just left my hair feeling so soft. Anyways, I use the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil. And it's a heat and UV protective primer. I use the dry bar 100 proof oil for just the ends of my hair when it comes to curling my hair I don't use a lot of this oil because you don't want your hair to be super soft when you curl your hair because then the curls won't hold that well but when I leave my hair natural because I only wash my hair twice a week so during the work week I wash my hair and I don't blow dry it so I only blow dry my hair once a week and um I use this all the time in between washes you know when you wear your hair natural it can get kind of dry at the ends so this is a lifesaver <laughs> it looks like I barely used it but you only need the littlest bit and it goes such a long way my favorite dry shampoo I don't really invest in dry shampoo I just love Batiste and it works and then this is my all-time favorite hairspray I think the Kardashians used to use this hairspray or something. They probably honestly use something higher end, but the Kardashians use this hairspray or some famous person used this hairspray and my sister found out about it and then she told me about it. So I started using it and it is the best hairspray that I've ever used. It doesn't like leave your hair, you know, that like that gross residue that it puts in your hair. It disappears at the stroke of a brush. That's what it says. And I just use the Extra Strong Hold. It's by L'Oreal. It's humidity resistant and I live in Florida. So the humidity resistant is needed. But I love this because it doesn't, it never leaves that gross, like crunchy feeling in your hair. And if I want to brush through my hair and like touch it up throughout the day, it's fine and I can just respray this in it adds so much volume I'll show you so what I use to blow dry my hair today it's just the Revlon blow dry brush I really love this brush because it's just like that one step thing it's super easy the only con that I have against this is that it's very drying so it's such a high heat that if you use this too much it could just like fry your hair so I only use this once a week or every other week I don't wash my hair every day and I don't use heat the other <laughs> that one wash of the week so um, I feel like it's okay on my hair but this that's the only thing I'll link it down below for you I got off Amazon my favorite blow dryer which I feel like is not super drying it's healthy it's like one of those healthier it has like some type of technology in the hair dryer that helps prevent like damage and it has like different levels of heat, which I like, it has three different levels. And it's the T3 blow dryer. I've been using this blow dryer for probably like almost two years. Really, really like this blow dryer. So I don't find it's drying at all to my hair. I mean, it dries my hair, but it's not like overly drying. So next let's get into the curling iron because I have had the same, this isn't the same curling iron, so I necessarily can't say that it's the same, but my sister and I, have had these curling irons since high school that's like 10 years which is crazy but I've had my curling iron that I had um, actually broke and my sister doesn't really curl her hair so she just 
gave me hers but I, we have had this curling iron for over 10 years i'm not kidding and when this one fails me i'm just gonna go out and buy the exact same one you do not need an expensive curling iron to achieve beautiful curls or waves or whatever you want you just need a simple curling iron and i've been using the bedhead curling wand since high school when wands became a thing this is the best curling iron i have ever used hence why i haven't purchased anything else it just gives me the exact curls that i want and i can do so much with this like i can make waves i can make curls i can it's just like the perfect size too for my hair so 10 year old curling iron coming at you you don't need anything expensive and i think this is 30 dollars or less on amazon so i'll link this for you if you're in need of a curling iron or if you want to try it out yeah so that's that anyways i'm gonna start off i use the wet brush let's begin i'm gonna section off my hair i do two sections i have long hair but it's not like super thick but it is but it's not i don't know it's fine and then i have the glorious diagonal part so there's a mirror down here so if i if you see me looking down that's why so the only product that i have in my hair is this like a tiny bit at the ends once you see how like simple and it is how i on how i achieve my curls you're just gonna be like okay and section off my hair again and i clip it to the hair that's on top of my head so that way i don't have too many creases how small i do the curls is basically how long i want them to last so if I do like bigger chunks of hair, my curls don't last as long, but if I do smaller chunks of hair, my curls last longer. I don't use any texturizing spray. I know, shocker. I just don't like putting a lot of product in my hair. I don't know. It, then it just feels like dirty and gross, and my hair lasts, I will only wash it twice a week. So it's Saturday, the next time I'll wash it is Tuesday night. So it needs to last that long, and I find when there's so much product in your hair, it just feels more disgusting. I'm gonna take a piece like this big, and then I just I wrap my hair around and I make sure that the hair that is on the curling iron is flat. It's not like a bunched up piece of hair. It's like flat. So I make sure that the hair is laying flat on the curling iron. So that way it, like all of the strands are basically getting the heat. And I only take, I leave like a little bit out. I leave it for like 10, 12 seconds. Don't be alarmed at what it looks like. I straighten the ends at the end of the... Someone is mad. Straighten the ends at the end of doing my hair. And then I just take and go like that and then I just don't touch it. Do that again throughout the whole thing. So I think the key is to like make sure your hair is like flat. Don't use like bunches. I don't know how else to describe how to flatten your hair on the wand. Just like flatten the hair. Like see how it's flat. I don't know how to describe it. But like you see how it's flat I lay it flat on the wand I don't know I just find that this works better than when it's like clumped or when it's like bunched on the wand I always I don't know why I do it like this but I think it achieves like a better curl when I just take it behind my head and go like this So I always curl away from my face, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did on this side, on this side. You just, I just always go like this and wrap the pieces around. So I'm always putting my arm that is holding the curling iron behind my head and I always turn it away from my face. If you wanna achieve a more beachy wave, do like reverse. So one piece away, one piece facing, one piece away, one piece facing. If you want to achieve like a very textured beachy look but um i always just curl away from my face mostly i think i'm gonna just talk to you guys when i do this side or like do like the top layer of my hair so okay i'm back let's have the the top layer of my hair to curl now what i'm gonna do is i think that there's like a few like creases where the clips are were i use the little clips when i clip up my hair so i don't have to straighten it too much because the big clips 
crease my hair so badly so I try to use the little ones so that way they don't crease as bad so I don't have to like straighten too much but um because I do like the volume this is just like not a cute video to film okay I just finished curling this side of my hair and this is what it looks like which is very terrifying I haven't brushed it out I haven't done anything to it so what I do is I take my brush do not be scared to brush your curls out. Curls aren't, they're not supposed to look like this. This isn't the sixth grade anymore. And it goes, it's, it's not, we're not done yet, but you see how much of a difference that makes? I know you see the difference. And what I do is I take I'll take my straightener. I straighten pieces that are like too curly or um, I definitely straighten all of the ends. Curly is. So they usually fall a little bit um, throughout the day. So what I do to kind of like keep them from almost like curling together you see how that is like together and these aren't so what i do what i do is i take the hair and i basically like go like this with it and i spray hairspray at the same time that's like the key to adding some volume to your hair is to hairspray like that so now i'm gonna do this side so this is the finished look um, and I will touch it up maybe like throughout the day or tonight if I go to dinner or do anything like that but yeah this is how I achieve these curls that I basically wear in every single video give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed I would love to have you around and yeah I will see you in my next video bye